name's Amanda Hefner and I'm the wedding coordinator at Felino State. Hi, I'm Amanda. Really my job is giving tours to brides and then once they book with us, then we go from conception all the way to essentially execution. Marco and Andrea Felino are the owners, their husband and wife duo, and we'll be open two years come this November. Instead of just weddings, we also have personal events, so private events where bridal showers, baby showers, birthday parties, that sort of thing. And then we also have special tastings in the tasting room. And we have special Felino State events, so it just depends on the time of year. Uh, we have about 20,000 vines planted. Uh, we're going to plant 9,000 more next year. Um, and then over on that hillside, we haven't decided exactly what we're going to plant yet, but that hillside will be covered with vines the following year. So you'll notice most of our vines have nets on them. Uh, we do have a bird problem here. If you can look way off to, the, to our uh, right here, or to your left, you'll notice that that's Hawk Mountain. And a lot of the migrating birds come from Hawk Mountain and they fly right across our vineyards and down to the Chesapeake Bay. So we have to keep nets up and you might hear a bird caller go off. We actually have some bird noises that go off just to scare the birds away. We get our vines from California and it's a two part. It's a, actually a piece of root stock and then there's a piece of scion wood and they're grafted together right here. It's, a, it's actually, a, they call it an omega graft and it holds real good. And then what happens is, once we put it into the ground, it starts to grow. So we got a little bud here, and we got a little bud here, and what we've done now is we've trained that to go up the stake. And, you know, it's, it's a, almost a four-year process before we actually get any really decent grapes from it. Right here, there are 1,200 vines, and 1,200 vines will probably, it's because of the size, we'll probably get about two barrels, a barrel's about 60 gallons. So we'll probably get about 1,200 gallons of wine just from this 1,200 grape vines here. My name is Andrew Yinks. I'm the assistant winemaker here at Felino State Winery. So the proper time to harvest grapes is right around the beginning of fall, end of summer even sometimes. Uh, we're really looking for the perfect ripeness, uh, which is diff different for every winery. Uh, we measure it based off of the sugar content, which is, will eventually turn into alcohol, as well as proper acidity of it. So harvest really begins in the vineyard, but once it gets picked, all the grapes, they immediately get brought over here to what we call the crush pad. At the crush pad, it goes into two machines uh, where we have two different processes for either red grapes or white grapes. So both grapes, uh, whether red or white, get put into the large hopper here, where it goes through a pretty self-explanatory name, the crusher and the stemmer, where it then crushes and descends the grapes. Uh, afterwards, it falls into this pan, where the auger then takes it into the uh, pump. And then if it is a white grape, it will get pumped directly into the press. In the press then, uh, a bladder fills up with air where all the juice uh, is then pressed off of the actual grape skins. It falls into a press pan where it is then pumped out directly into a tank. For red wines, we skip that process to later and we go right from the crusher to stemmer into the auger and straight into the tank. We have two different types of tanks that the grapes will go into. Uh, we have the red fermenters, which are open top tanks, uh, where the lid is completely removable. This allows us to get into the top where you have must, uh, which is the grape seeds, the skins, um, any other particulate matter that might have entered. Uh, this is where they'll inocula inoculated with the yeast. The yeast is then eats the sugar and, which, and then gets turned to alcohol, creating wine. Some of our wines are still available. We have a special mold wine coming out. So during our Fall Fest, which is just in two weeks, we'll be having that uh, showing as well.